winter conditions were very difficult and challenging for our growers and the impact of the wet weather through the winter was felt through the spring with some very late drilled cereal crops uh, and sugar beet drilling was a little later than uh, we would expect it to be on average but ahead of 2023. Um, clearly some land, some of the heavier land, um, suffered some waterlogging last winter and that will um, have had some impact on the soil structure but sugar beet's a very resilient crop established very well this year um, and we're looking at some very good crops out there some very healthy crops out there some of our growers who are lifting are, are seeing very good yields um, it's still very early in the season uh, and the sugar content is between 16 and 17 percent at this very early stage of campaign and we would expect yields to continue to build for the next month or so Although the Rothamsted forecast for virus yellows was at 83% and it triggered the use of cruiser uh, again this year, we, we saw the number of aphids reduced by continual periods of rain that we had through the spring. That helps control aphid numbers and it's meant that we've seen a lot less pressure from virus yellows this year than we would have expected early on. So generally disease pressure has been low this year um, we've not seen too many pests around either, a, a little bit of everything, uh, but nothing uh, of a serious nature. So the crop generally looks very healthy. Around 60% of our growers have used the Cruiser SB treatment in 2024. If uh, Cruiser SB is not available in the future, we're working hard on our virus yellows pathway with BBRO uh, and NFU Sugar, um, the jointly funded beet research organization. Uh, we're making good progress. We're seeing new varieties, promising new varieties come through uh, our, our trials process. We're encouraged by that. We are working with BBRO uh, and helping growers understand how they can use integrated pest management uh, in the short term. Longer term, we have an Innovate UK grant that we were awarded last year, and that's supporting some of the work we're doing on genetic editing which we see as a longer term potential to really help us in our fight against virus yellows and bringing resistant varieties through perhaps in the next decade.